Some manufacturers make cars that are that special that they award them their own unique badge. BMW have got their legendary M cars, Mercedes the AMG, and Ford the rally-inspired RS cars. Now the latest manufacturer to award a car a badge for performance is Toyota. So is it the 300 brake horsepower Celica? Hey, hey, wait a minute, it's a surprise. Or is it the V6 MR2? Hang on. It is a Yaris. Yes. Introducing the new Yaris T-Sport. Now, before you all fall off your chairs laughing, this isn't a joke. Toyota have taken their already successful Yaris and fed it steroids. The new 1.5 engine produces 105 brake horsepower, as opposed to the 1.3's 85 brake horsepower. The ride height's been dropped by 20 millimetres and the suspension stiffer to improve Yaris's already impressive ride. Cosmetically, there's new wheels, an aggressive body kit with side skirts and a familiar sports car chin intake. Inside has also had the T-Sport treatment with new sport seats, carbon fibre look trims, leather steering wheel and gear knob and new white instrument dials which replace the 3D digital display of the other models. But one of the features that remains the same is this rather excellent sliding back seat that gives you more boot space or more leg room. Now, if I'm being picky, the original Yaris was a little bit wallowy when you chucked it into a corner, but you'll be immediately impressed by the poise and stability of this new T-Sport. The improved suspension gives it a really sporty feel, and the body roll never reaches an alarming level. And that coupled with these hip-hugging seats, well, it really challenges you to throw this Yaris around, just like you would with any hot hatch. Although the T-Sport has an all-new engine, it retains the variable valve timing system which ensures the engine operates efficiently across the rev range. And it's not just manufacturer's flannel, as the fuel consumption figures average out over 40 miles per gallon. The T-Sport has got more power than the Citroen Saxo VTR or the Ford Fiesta ZTEC S, 105 brake horsepower to be precise, but drive it sedately and it'll feel a lot less lively than that. However, use the five-speed gearbox Get it up to three and a half thousand revs and the car really comes alive. Catch it right and you'll beat the others 0 to 60, taking only nine seconds. Other upgrades on the T-Sport include disc brakes all round to cope with the extra power and electronic brake distribution, a feature that's now standard across the Yaris range. And an extra special feature on this car, which I love, is the new exhaust note. <laughs> Not quite a Ferrari, but we're getting there. When the Yaris was originally launched, one of the many things it was praised for was the vast cabin space. And every time I get into one of these, I still can't get over just how much room there is for passenger and driver alike. It makes the Fiesta feel rather pokey in comparison. So how does the new Yaris compare on costs? Well, this model, complete with an impressive standard equipment list, will set you back just under 12 grand which is significantly more expensive than its rivals, but it'll be cheaper to insure than the competition and has that impressive drip-feed fuel economy. So, the Yaris is a different animal since its T-Sport makeover. And the good news is that Toyota are planning to give a sports overhaul to some of the bigger models. So in the future, that might mean that we'll see the Avensis T-Sport biting at the heels of the M3, or the Picnic T-Sport challenging the Cosworth drivers. Hmm. Well, it's a thought anyway.